Hello, welcome. So I want to play more of this game. There was a big update that basically rebalanced the game to make it a little harder. The turrets were definitely doing too much damage. So I got some upgrades. So the guards will shoot enemies and... Okay, research. I have more research. And I have enough uh, resources to get this one, but I don't think it's going to be important to... I don't know. I think I'll just keep my resources and just play the game more. I'm not sure if the game will delete my progress once it's released on Steam. I hope not, but yeah. we'll be trying the second difficulty, which is Core Engineer. For now, as you can see, we cannot do anything available, only the full version. So we only have... Hmm. So let me see what I, we can change. So we'll have a map, we'll have a platform reset. And from what I can see, the objective is always the same, so that means we'll be playing the same map. But seems like it's a different type of objective since we'll be going a little deeper. Yeah, okay, now we know, so let's play. I'll try to play, instead of just doing a let's play, I'll try to do one um, full run every time. Let's see how the balance is and how we'll be managing the game. I don't think we can do anything. Okay, let's just enter. So we start with two workers, one hauler and one guard, okay? Yeah, the first two buildings will be the iron factory. Or two iron factories. Well, I guess you have to build a barracks, otherwise you cannot get more workers. Yeah. Problem. It's going to be a slow start of the game anyway. <laughs> the guard is over there protecting, okay. Uh, poor. The poor carrier doesn't have anything to do. Okay, so let's build a barracks on this side since it's clearly going to be needed to make more workers, but I don't think you need the workers in the beginning since, well, there's not much you can do with them. That will be a bug. I'm not sure what happens if you just leave it alone. Oh, almost clicked on it. Swarmlet. Oh, we can even have a Swarmlet factory, but this is only going to be useful for turret upgrades and I haven't seen it being that good. I think we'll try the rocket turret since the other turrets are a bit weaker now. Okay, so no box came out, that's good. This is a swarm lead or probably don't shoot. I think four workers will be enough and then I need to just get one more guard. I also get, have to get used to playing this on double the speed which will sound annoying. Okay. I guess it's going to be always uh, a chance that the bugs will come out. Okay, so you have to destroy these, otherwise bugs might come out of them. Wait, what? Is it night time already? Oh, almost. Not sure what that thing is. Probably to can spawn uh, bugs if you leave them alone over time. It's okay, it's not going to hurt anyone. Except this guy. Roger that. Roger that. Roger that. So this will be the first time I'll try to... 
Oh, so they don't stop coming, okay. Why do I always forget to make the turrets? Well, I hope the guards can manage this. Yeah, so they can all during the night as well. Oh, I forgot that the first two turrets are free. Eh, well, I guess they don't really defend us as I thought. But oh, the, they fly in a weird pattern. I like that. Oh no, I lost track of. Died. Oh, I guess a guard died. Okay, a guard is replaceable for easy. But they can work during the night as well, but apparently it will get much harder. And you always have to be on the lookout for the bugs. I mean, also, what am I saying? You have to be on the lookout for the big worms. Also, the guards didn't attack the enemies like I thought they would be doing. Permanent resources, I guess it doesn't matter what they are called. Uh, we don't need a tutorial either, sure. Okay, that was a massive mistake that I almost made. We have a lot of this stuff, the sword unit, so I'm not sure if it will be needed. Get the research that's important. Okay, I guess I can play a double the speed and use space a little often, a little more often. No, not a bad. Oh, why did I do that? Uh, yeah, let's not destroy it. As you can see, it also balanced it so when you destroy a building, it will cost you one iron as well. Well, I guess we can call in more miners now that we have the space. Oh, I see what's happening. So we have to destroy the block before it, the alien comes out. Honor. I don't want to stun my enemies. I want to destroy my enemies. Active at the top of the shaft. Okay. When it says that, it means you have to put them on top. I guess it will be a very good turret, automatic turret. What is this? You know, I think I like the laser corrector, even though it's not very useful per se. I think we can use it if you are just more careful with our digging. So, if the if the only re available resources are below over here, there's no point in risking going lower. It's only worth it to risk it when you have resources above the ground over here. Oh wow, they can also come from there. I think it's time for our second carrier. Let the transportation commence. Good. I don't think there's anything else over there, so we just have to mine deeper. Thank you. 
rocket watchtower. But why is it different from my other one? Oh, because this is built on the platform. I guess if it's called a watchtower, it will be built on the platform. Wait a minute. Hmm. One turret will shoot faster. <laughs> I guess we'll be going full explosions. Full boom. Mining turret. Launches up to seven. Explosive mines in front of it. So I guess you'll we'll, we'll just launch mines all the time. Hmm, I'm not sure if this will be good enough. I think I, you have to choose it anyway, so... I guess you have to choose them and see if they're good or not. We'll get another miner. And now we need another carrier, and then we need another guard, and that will be the full squad for the time being. Cargo in That's lifestyle. Yeah, this will be the full squad for the moment. I'm playing much faster than I did in the first episode. Oh, all of the loot is over there, that's interesting. Now, at this point, I should just build another platform over here. It would be worth building another turret, but I don't think we need it for now. Then we'll make another iron factory. Hey, that was my worker. Okay, let's replace the worker immediately. Don't shoot me. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. <sighs> Run away. Yeah, this might get tricky. Since the big bugs are coming. Oh yeah, they're shooting the enemies. The guards are really shooting the enemies now. That's great. I love this game. I like it so much. They thought of everything. Okay, so let me see what we need. Yeah, I think I would also like the building with the carrier drones. That would be a nice addition to all of this stuff that I have. So we need another iron factory, that's for sure. Oh, now it costs five. Hmm, okay, we can wait. No, 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 no. That's reasonable, we need a laboratory. Because we need to increase their mining speed and their movement speed. Yeah. I guess three iron factories will be enough for the beginning. Red booster, mortar. Oh, eh, this still bigger explosions will be the key. Gun, gun. Okay, I guess that just does a lot more damage. I like the idea of a mortar. Now I have to be careful because we're running out of resources over here. And I said the first one will be mining speed, or no, uh, speed. Yeah, let's go for the speed of the workers. I have to be super careful to keep enough to make another turret. Loader. 
That's not a good idea. I don't like the idea of destroying it. What? Lower the defense of blocks in a radius, speeding up the process of destroying them, but it's it has a big cooldown. I like the idea. I don't know. We'll just take it and see how it works. Right, that blocks in new every morning okay. I guess we have done it, we have mined the entire area I guess you don't have to leave, because I think if you leave, you only leave in the morning anyway, so you might as well just stick around and mine everything. I also have to be more careful about my path finding, because that's important as well. As you can see, I could have cleared this area over here, and I, the miners could have had more access to the lower parts easily. Okay. You can definitely get a lot more resources if you are careful enough, but... <laughs> Lasers and enemies. I like the idea of this one as well, splitter, but I guess we just have to go for the bar. Our resources are so limited. I think I should go for a turret, but to be honest, I'm too greedy. That's why we needed to stay one more turn to get that last one. Do I want to stay another day over here to collect the resources? I think I do. What? It came so fast. That attack was so fast, I didn't even have a chance to retreat. Okay, I think I should have built extra mortal to that. I ended up not building anything. Okay, that was that was a big mistake. So let me also change the sound settings. Maybe it's too loud when the enemies are coming. Okay, this is a little better. This is not going to hold, I need the mortar to it. Or a lot of them actually, maybe two or three. So, well, I don't know, I guess we can wait a little bit. So I guess we need three carriers from now on because we're falling behind that. I will take the mini drill launcher, but I don't like it. The last time I tried it, it was pretty bad. I guess we're done with the map. We're just waiting to get the iron ore that we need. Mining speed will be the next upgrade, and then, yeah. What happens if you choose to leave early? Do you just leave immediately? And you start the next area... Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you can only leave in the morning. I guess there's nothing left for us to do but mine everything. I don't know if that was a waste or not because as you can see we're... We're still going deeper and we're still getting resources from the iron factories. Is there a bonus if you mine every tile? I 
I don't know. I guess we'll not never find out. Well, I wanted to know, but I guess we'll not know now. You know, let's just build another mortar. Oh, that... They actually work very nicely. And they have a little more range, or maybe it's the same range. It's the same range. We have, we have no trouble killing the small guys, but the big ones are taking so much damage. I like that upgrade so much, where the guards actually attack the bugs. I guess now they gain courage or they just got an increase to their pay and now they are brave enough or paid well enough to attack the enemies during the night as well. Okay, so this is the bottleneck. Once we arrive at a new floor we basically have to wait until they drill the first bits. It's kind of like a big time waste. Uh, yes. I'll go for the second laboratory because we have stuff to research now. The first station. I guess we'll need that one. I guess we can make do with only one. So now it will not be so important that we destroy all of the enemies faster. Five and one. Oh, okay. I guess I should have chosen the Swarmlet factory as well because that will be a important thing for my upgrades over here. Yeah, I guess I should have chosen the factory as well, the Swarm. But uh, I don't know. We'll just have to see how this works out. So I guess mining speed will be the main thing. I think we can survive another wave with our current resources and loadout. Okay, let's see. I also have to remember to mine the easy blocks first and then the hard ones. Kind of a waste of man board since we have three guards. But I guess I understand why they're here. Fire block. The notorious fire blocks. Bit of workers. I don't think it increases the speed of the guards. Don't need to upgrade the guards just yet. Block visibility. I think this is also an important one. I have gotten this a little faster, but I guess now I have to get the speed. Oh wow, that's a massive upgrade. Why? Why didn't I see that before? I guess it was a little well hidden below the rocks. This will be a painful night. Someone died? One of the workers. Immediately replace the worker. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. So that's the annoying part. can micromanage them to work only in this area. Those fire blocks are so annoying. It, it's in the worst position possible. I cannot destroy it. I lost how many workers to that? Three workers almost. Yeah. I'm not sure about working during the night. It's very risky. I'm also afraid the bugs will attack my little workers or guards. 
This is not enough. I need another turret for the next night. Not maybe. Shooting speed. I guess they only have shooting speed upgrades. I guess I could also upgrade them. <laughs> that was such a big waste. Yeah, this upgrade was massive. <laughs> Increasing the range of... Yeah, I didn't think it would be that important, but it's super important. The view range. What died? What died? They keep killing my workers. That's so... Cool and well, I guess it's the only way to balance out the game. That's a fireback. Okay, so we'll not dig the uh, that one over there until we are ready to handle it. I need more buildings. I need something for the daytime. I'm not doing anything until I build well. I don't think we need more mortars. It seems like two mortars are more than enough. We need another rocket to it. So I'll just build it now so I don't forget. Okay, we'll just leave that alone until we have enough people to deal with it. Oh, we need to mine that. Well, not much I can do about that. Oh, who dropped the fire one? Please destroy it, please destroy it. Don't burn anyone. Have been much worse. I don't know why the carriers drop their loot. It's not like they they cannot fly with it. Oh wow, they're spread out too much right now. Even the first war attacked my. Oh, this is going to be so bad. Yeah, it seems the game is a lot harder now since the machine gun damage was nerfed. And I have a feeling if I use them, they'll not be as good. I thought explosive turrets would be a lot better than this, but apparently they're not. They're much worse than the machine gun ones, at least in the beginning. Not even concentrated fire helps them too much. But I guess they're balanced, what can I say? That's our first priority. What can we get from over here? Workers recover their full health Every morning. I like the periodical health restore, but I'm not sure how big it is. Well, I think this one is better because they just get damaged a lot during the day as well. And that's basically all of my resources. Another worker was defeated by fire. Okay, we just have to choose something. I get the idea. Oh, this is why my efficiency dropped so much. We need another carrier. Looks like they get healed quite often. Okay. Minigun to that. Well, too bad I didn't him. Go up for this. Huh? We don't need to mine that block.
Did I lose another worker? Wow. The workers are dropping everywhere. Is there an upgrade to him? I like this as the whole point to not just automize everything. I mean, I'm just stuck building workers, sadly. Okay, let's build a second platform. And what can we build that will help us? This a corrector would be nice, but I don't think it will work as intended. I might need more firepower. I should also build a launcher since we have it. Mini drill launcher. But it's so slow. I guess we need to save up for the repair station. Okay, now we know. Since we're taking too much damage during the night. We also need to work on the mining speed of these guys since they are super slow now. I guess I can build this. No, no, no. Repair station. Calm down. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the bugs are getting stronger. Yes. Repair station. Not sure how that works. I guess we'll see. I'm not risking it like the last time. Last time I risked it, I lost one worker or two. So how does this work? Oh, it's super slow. Looks like it doesn't have the animation for it, but I trust that that's an animation of someone repairing the thing. Probably all of the buildings will have some animation to them. Oh, it's the, the weird bugs that float around. Actually, that's good for us because they will get into the range of the AoE. Ouch! This is bad. How much to... Well, I wish it... this was a number and not, you know, a bar. How much does the repair station repair the core? Look, okay, that's basically zero. I mean, it's above zero, but it's still super, super small. I have a bad feeling about this run. Doesn't seem like we're going lower. Yeah, the game is great. It could use a little more tutorials, but other than that, it's great. I don't think there is any point in going more in that direction. Drilling requires one, le one less call. That's not going to be strange. Oh, okay. So this is the most important one over here. What is the last one? Looks like an egg. Oh, you can fully heal it, but only one time. Actually, two times. I need to increase the damage of the guards. Yeah. I guess this is an upgrade I always neglected because we didn't need it. But order tool. Lose less people will have to get it now. Also, we don't have any skills, that's weird. Usually, I would have a lot of skills by this point. Oh, yeah, that 25% extra damage helps a lot. So what turret helps us deal with this stuff? Block revealer, oscillator. How periodically does it shoot? 
Or should I just invest in more towers over here? I guess I can invest in more towers. Well, I, I can see the point of it, but I don't think we have weapons that will reach that far. Also didn't get the building that upgrades my explosive damage, that's a thing. Maybe you have to build a shield to it. Okay, we'll keep that slot over there free. And we'll try to save one more iron for a mortar over there, yeah. Let's build it now. I have a feeling I'll forget about it next time, so... Looks like the periodical heal was the right choice. I think I can be a little bit more greedy right now. We can handle most of the stuff, I think. But it's almost night time now, no, let's build another turret and then in the morning we'll build more iron factories. That's not something I'll enjoy doing, so let's postpone that. I guess that's another reason to destroy all of the blocks, because if you don't destroy all of the blocks, insect might spawn from them at some point. Mining turret. Well, I'll just believe them and we'll build one in the next row. Okay. Wait, what is all of the coal? Oh, don't tell me the coal is over there. This will have to destroy from that location because if it fires the fire up, it will be much harder to destroy. Okay, so I guess that's another layer of difficulty. Wait, we have no resources? Yeah. Oh, that's so dangerous. Run, run, run. <laughs> Too close, in my opinion. The mortar, I guess it will destroy the ones on the left. Some of them will get through. Okay, this is so much better. But it's still not enough. I, I feel like I need at least two more turrets now. Or at least upgrade the ones we have. I was relaxing. No, don't destroy. I was relaxing too much. Yeah, if the uh, mortars shoot the big enemies, that's basically a wasted opportunity. I might die here, I don't think so, I think it will be okay. But the next night will be a problem. It will almost be at zero health for the core. Well, there goes all of my wiggle room. We don't need to drill that. Probably mine that one. I guess we can make it like this because there's not much left for us to do. So why is this different? It looks a little different. How expensive are these things? Well, they're quite expensive. Yeah, now I regret not building that swarm light factory or getting the research because apparently it's quite rare. Let's also make a bar. I'm not sure how useful it will be. Gun catalyzer. See, this is what I want, but I want it for the explosive stuff. I don't think this is good because we don't have anything that is an AoE weakness.
And it's quite small range. I guess you can take that and just build some turrets. Machine gun turrets at some point. At least they got scared by the fire. So we basically mine everything. And we guess mine everything. I guess we'll just keep them busy so they have something to do. Wait, what, what is that? Oh, that was the bar that improved the speed. I'll just assume it improves the mining speed, speed and uh, damage or carry capacity. Or not carry capacity, speed. Depending on what they hit. Yeah, I don't think there will be secret rewards in the blocks. Why does it say only effective at the bottom? Oh, because it re oh maybe it releases mines periodically. Okay, I get it. So yeah, like I said, for the next level it will be good. Maybe we we'll survive this one. We might not survive because there are too many enemy enemies bypassing the defenses. But as long as they don't split up too much, we should be okay. That's a big one over there. Come on. Okay. Okay, they are splitting up way too much. So I guess that's the problem with the explosive stuff. The enemies will split up too much during the later phases of the game. I guess I shouldn't have made the bar, I should have made the, another repair thing. And now we know. Yeah, I think, I think this will be a failed run. I don't think we'll have enough the resources to repair it in time. Okay, so I guess I mastered the crew part. Oh, that repair station is so expensive. I guess it should be expensive. Also, no to self. All is mine in the middle. Oh, that's a fire block. Let's try it as soon as possible. Hmm. That's a lot of enemies, suddenly. Anything interesting in the research section? Naturally, I guess I can give them more health, but that doesn't help me. I guess I have to make more explosive turrets. Something. Yeah, that's the idea. Build more turrets, right? Build Staff Queen. <laughs> Finally, something new. I'm just not liking any of my choices. I know what's good and what's bad. We have a limited amount of skill slots, so I'm trying to get a better skill, but I'm not getting anything. Also, not really much point into getting more workers or more... What can I get? More carriers? It's not worth it. Maybe one more worker would help a little bit. But the costs are kind of prohibitive, yeah, we'll solve that a bit later. Wait, so do they destroy the block if they come out of it? No, okay, then we'll leave it alone. Now what do I do? I 
least we'll try to see how the mines are, even though I don't like the idea. This is just reaches a lot of... <laughs> the mines look very goofy. Yeah, let's build more mining turrets. Seems like it's a way to deal a lot more damage passively. Wait, I didn't recall them. Well, that's annoying. I guess we can get a little greedy. But we have to be so careful with the greed. Okay, wow, okay, this level is much bigger than the other one, so I guess we'll have enough time to mine whatever else we have on top of this place. Oh, that's such a small repair. Yeah, I think we should build those much faster. I'm not sure what the shield blocks, the glowing shields are doing. Oh no, I missed it completely. I didn't see it. We lost a lot of workers because of we did. Oh man, that's so annoying. I think they should get rid of the screen distortion because that's the only reason I didn't see the worm over there because of the stupid screen distortion. They just make it harder to see. And we lost three guards, all of the guards. Well, the mines are working. That's for sure. But is the other stuff working? Actually, I think I'll have to play this game a lot more because it's a lot more complex than I originally thought. Look at that, it's going to be the limit of the limit. I think that's 0.1% HP. I see my mistakes, I see all of my mistakes now. Well, I guess it was not a mistake, I guess I just got unlucky with my possible upgrades. I guess we just need to get more greedy and faster. Looks like I got all of the coal super fast this time. So is there any point in me hanging around? Eh, not really. Now, do I invest in more defenses or what do I need right now? I guess they have a maximum of 7 mines. But what does it say it's more effective at the lower parts of the mine? I don't know. What's the difference between the mortar and the rocket launcher? I guess it's going to fire slower. The rocket launcher is probably better suited for smaller groups of enemies and this is for bigger groups of enemies. This will fire a little faster, so I, I guess it's better to just build more turrets instead of... I don't know. I guess you just have to occupy all of the turret slots, and that will make it easier. At least to some degree. I guess we don't really need to destroy those anyway. I mean, we don't need to destroy that bug. Or wake, awaken it. Now what did I want to build? Another turret or another repa repair thing? I guess I need another repair thing. Okay. This game is so fun. 
Another energy catalyzer. I guess some of the stuff might not be in game. Oh. I didn't see that one. We have more turrets over there as well. This, oh, let's make another mortar over here. They look too similar. They should change their uh, design a little bit. I guess the mortar is the one, the longer barrel. Careful now. Okay, we can stay a little longer in here. I assume we can stay a little longer in here. We don't seem to be having as many problems with the guards. Okay, that's... That's goodbye. More rocket turrets. Yeah, I think the problem is that the rocket turrets are not really attacking the enemy that is closest to them. <laughs> they just fire in a weird zigzag motion and that means a lot of enemies will pass. Especially ones that will be coming near them. I mean, look at that. They're just not even attacking the ones closest to them. It's random. And I think this would give enough time for the mines to activate. Okay, so... Okay, so just build as many turrets as you can. Oh, so th that's amazing because that gives you a very good reason to go down lower faster so we have more turrets. So the faster you go down, the more turrets you'll have. That's an interesting balancing mechanic. I like that. Well, they're still getting through. But not in big numbers. Okay, the mine layers are actually decent. We need so many more resources. I don't like the idea of going over there. Yeah, I guess we, should, we could get more miners. I mean, they have enough damage to attack the bugs and destroy them now. Was that my only guard that died? Yes, it was my only guard. Ouch! That could have been a big disaster. I mean, it was only a small disaster by... by chance. At least there's also not much point into making more defensive stuff. I can make the rocket tower, but how good will it be? I would say not good enough, so more repair stations? And it doesn't seem like it's... Whenever you have to mass produce something or mass build something, that doesn't mean it's going to be the best choice, it's just going to be your only choice. I think I should also go back to the iron factories since we're running very low on resources. Wow, again! Where are all my resources? Looks like we didn't really accomplish much this day. And my carriers are so far away, and they're not really making anything. This hurt. This was such a bad day. I mean, look at that. Almost got my iron. And I didn't build any extra defenses, so I'm not sure if these buildings are worth it. But I guess the, the nice thing is that they always repair you, even if it's night time. But I might have gotten them a little too late. Yeah, those monsters are destroying my entire thing. Just because of the way they work. I guess you need turrets over here. Always get 
bullet turrets. Yeah. Okay, so the first level of defense will have to be b bullet turrets because they just swarm you anyway, so it doesn't matter how much AoE you have, they're just a lot of them. A lot of them with HP. A lot of them with a lot of HP. I like the intensity of the games. Every game will be different just because of all of the RNG involved. That's enough defenses. We should go back to building iron factories now. Also, it's kind of annoying that you don't really see how much faster you get the iron. Oh, we're almost done with the level anyway. Yeah, I guess we only need the first two tiers of upgrades, and after that, it's not really going to matter that much. I guess I was kind of unlucky with my technologies then. I will, okay, let's keep the resources. I will build only when the night starts. Well, thank you, God. You, <laughs> you gave your life for something really nice. You saved probably a few. Oh no. Where the. Where did this bug come from? Okay, so from what I understand, the eggs, if you uncover them, or maybe if you, you don't even need to uncover them, they'll produce bugs, and those bugs will exit through another place. So I guess you just need to destroy the eggs, from what I can understand. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. Wait, why is there something over there? I don't know. So we didn't get to build anything else. I think the mining turret is a lot better than it seems. And I'll build one over here as well. It's kind of late, but I think it will still do its job more or less. It does a lot more damage, I think, than the turret, the mortar or the rocket turrets. Also, they are the ones that are effectively stopping the big enemies from arriving. But will it be enough? I don't think it will be enough. Yeah, too many of them are getting by our defenses and the ones that arrive actually shoot at my core because these guys don't finish them fast enough. Yeah, I can see... I think there was an upgrade to let us prioritize what enemies we fire at. I can see the benefit of having that upgrade. Are we done? Oh, I don't think we'll survive this. Unless we get... Nah, we are done for. This is it. There's probably... Oh, no. Oh, what? We survived this? I am shocked. I guess we could have went lower even this day, but... Wait, what, what are you doing? I have to spend the entire day over here, so I might as well mine. I guess we'll not get any more technology, so the only thing that is worth getting is either a repair station or another iron factory. This is going to be annoying because it basically Stops my automation, so that's why I don't like it. Mini drill launcher, oscillator. I think this would have been a much better choice. Yeah, I should have went with this one.
Okay, prioritize those ones. I have two cards. Don't annoy me. Okay, that was a weird splat. So, is there any particular reason you would want to wake up the bugs? I don't think so. So, do I have room for anything else? This game is so good. No, not really. I guess we we will win the mission next turn anyway, I hope so. We can also make another rocket launcher. Oh, max iron factor, so you can max out. I didn't think it was possible, to be honest. Okay, that, put, that will put things into perspective, since you can max out. I guess that means we can also max out on some other stuff, but I'll just make the rocket launcher because I'm curious how it works and how good it is. <laughs> it's like it's a lot more offensive than the rest of my turrets. Okay, get the last pieces of iron and run. Well, I'm not going to risk it for a piece of iron or two pieces of iron. Yeah, I don't think we could have made that anyway. And now since we have all of the mines deployed, this should, uh, should be a little easier tonight. Oh, it actually fires them in a straight line. Interesting. And they go up until they hit the target. That's, that's actually a lot more helpful than I thought. Because it's a constant source of damage. Okay, a rocket tower on the base is good, but it occupies a base slot, so I guess it's a nice balance to it. Oh, it will fire point blank now. Okay, so it defends the base a lot more. I think we'd have been dead without it. So good thing we built it. And now we just have to build one on the right side. Hey, Worm, what are you doing? Hold G to evacuate your workers and I think we can manage this, I'm not sure. Probably going to be a risky day. Do we need another lab? No, I don't think we'll get to the next tier of resources anyway. The next tier of... Well, yeah. Looks like this is not really needed, so if you're going to play a 200 meter level, tier 3 of the lab is not needed. I guess I just have to build another rocket launcher. That's actually useful. I don't know what the shield icon is all about. So now... Oh wait, this is the max amount of turrets we can get. Well, this is scary. Hmm. -mm. So I guess the only way to survive this is to just build more rocket launchers, I guess. Unless the technology gives us something better. Yeah, this is not so useful. I thought it would be a little more useful, but it's not. <laughs> Since it has such a limited radius. Oh, this is the max amount of... We can only build in three spaces over here. I, I guess it all depends on how deep you go. I thought I would have more building space, but I don't. Okay, so... Maximize the turret space. Oh, it actually shows over here on the rails. This game is amazing, so I guess it's an upgrade 
when you increase the amount of space you can build a home. Okay. This makes a lot more sense now. The amount of thought the developers put into some of these mechanics is ast just surprising, it's astonishing. I guess we can get one more worker since it's only one iron. Yeah, I'm not going to risk everything. It's funny when the girls are escorting the carriers. I don't think there would have been more permanent resources, so wait, who is that a single bug coming out? It's a very fun game, I like it. Three star mission. What does the experience do? I keep forgetting, so I get contract reward. Resources achieved reward, so that's why it's always worth it to just escape before the night comes. Such a fun game. Three division level. I guess I can go for this one. For more abilities, but that doesn't seem to help me much. Laser station, laser. Railgun. Recycler This is one type of one into another. This is the one I need, but it's so expensive Oh Okay, so I guess your experience is added to the division level which is your current level and you need to have also a level Not just the resources to upgrade more stuff I guess the really important damage upgrades will only be available <laughs> Level 15. That's so nice yeah, protocol, red priority protocol. So just click on it. Click on it. Well, that's the only possible thing I can get because on only we are only level three, and we don't have the resources to get something else. So more nighttime abilities. I guess this will be a big help as well. What did we unlock? Core engineer, core master. Oh, and this will be the final level we can play. So we finish Core Engineer and then Core Master will be the last one. We can. And I'm a bit sad. As you can see, you'll also get the final type of resource. What is charges required? So there, there might be planets where you need to deploy more charges. Interesting. Look at the rewards for this one. Oh, they don't give us much, but they give you the last resource. Interesting. See you next time. Bye-bye.